Okay, now we will start talking about the dead weight loss due to taxes. And from this talk, I would like you to know why there is dead weight loss, who suffers the most, and also what is the difference between the actual and statutory incidence of tax. Here I try to draw the supply curve much more elastic than the demand curve. There's a reason, you will know why. So, so from this graph, we will see that again, at the market equilibrium, this is the amount the society is going to produce, and this is the level the good is going to be priced. So nothing special. Again, we know that this is the supplier's surplus, and this area is the consumer surplus. Now assume that the government imposes a test law on the production of this product. So it means that the supplier has to pay extra money when they produce the end product. For example, when they before there is any test where they produce the end product at this level, the marginal cost is that much. But due to the test, now they actually have to pay more. As a result, the supplier's curve will shift up to this level. Because now this new supply curve means the uh, new marginal cost for the producer. So with the demand curve being still the same, then we know that the equilibrium point will change from here to here. And this is the new quantity the society is going to produce. And this is the new price of the product. So how is this going to affect the surplus? You see that for the consumer surplus, before there was any test, it was the area bounded by this black triangle. But now, because the price increased to this red line, the total consumer surplus is reduced to this region. And for the producer, their con producer surplus is also changed. It was the area bounded by this red line, but now it becomes the triangle bounded by this red line. So does this mean this is the total society surplus? No, we still have this area. This area actually is the tax income of the government. And this is the real total society surplus. But anyhow, the total society surplus is still reduced. Why? This is because the quantity produced is changed from this amount to this amount. So for this triangular, small triangular region, there's no tax income for the government, there's no consumer surplus, no producer surplus, and this is just a dead weight loss. Okay, the next question is, who suffers the most? From here you can see that actually the consumer suffers the most. You see that the consumer surplus, they reduced a lot, right, from the old area to the new yellow region. But for the producer, their, cons their producer surplus is pretty similar. The area of these two triangles are pretty similar. So why? The reason is because the supplier curve is more elastic. When the curve is more elastic, it means they're more flexible. For the demander, for the consumer, the demand curve is pretty inelastic, means that they are not flexible. They are not flexible, means they cannot change to other goods. They have to buy these goods. As a result, they have to suffer more due to the new test. Therefore, we say that although the supplier is legally binder to pay for the test, they have the statutory incidence of test, but they are not the actual test payer. The actual taxpayer is the consumer.